Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use sandbox tools in SketchUp. In sandbox, we have seven different tools in SketchUp that we can use in making topographical surfaces or organic forms. Now, in this scene, I have different edges that actually form a topographical surface. Now, these edges are actually lifted on some different elevations. So if you import a topographical map of a surface in SketchUp, you have to raise those edges at different levels or certain levels in making of a certain surface. So let's make a sandbox or a topographical face out of these edges. First you have to select all of the as these edges and you have to click on a from contours tool. Now it does create a surface connecting all these edges at varying levels different contours results different faces so in this scene I have these edges and if I just select them and click on from contours tool from sandbox it creates this sort of a surface now next two tools from the sandbox work together that is the from scratch tool and the smooth tool now if I just click on from scratch tool what it does is I can create a grid from what I can make a topographical surface or a surface with different contours or levels so first I have to type in a specific grid spacing that is the spacing between the grids so if I just type in 0.2 meters I can create a grid with 0.2 meters of spacing so I'll type in a length, let's say 12, and I can type on the length from the other side, let's say 12. So I cr kind of create this sort of a plane with all these grids. Now I cannot use move tool on this right away. I have to go into this group of grids to use move tool. So if I just uh, double click on this and click on the smooth tool now, what I have now is a radius option available. Now what it does is I have to type in or I can just adjust the radius of this contour that I'm about to make. Right now it's set at 10 meters if I just type in 5. Now I can actually create a contour with the 5 meters of radius so I just click on any grid or any edge and move the mouse upwards I can actually create a contour I can offset it by just typing or just by approximation like this if I just click on this and type in 1 now that is one meters high from there I can adjust the radius let's say I want a radius of 2 I can have that now let's say I want to contour from this side of like height 4 so I can always just create contours of varying sizes or radius from this move to like this to result into many of these organic forms now I can of course cut off these grids to have different kinds of shapes in resulting to different kind of forms from the smooth tool so if I just click on the smooth tool and type in the radius let's say the radius is 6 now I can create a contour out of this like this high from there this high from there maybe I can just adjust it to fall and just like this I can actually create different forms out of different shapes I can always lower this edges also like this 
so you can create any form as you want the next tool in the sandbox toolbar is the stamp tool now in order to use the stamp tool from the sandbox toolbar I, I have this surface here there's a topographical surface and I have this plane right over it now what this stamp tool does is it recreates the face that is selected first on the other surface now if I just click on this and click on stamp tool now if I click on the second surface it recreates that surface on this and I can vary its height or the elevation now if I just push on control Z to undo that now if I just click on this surface again and then on the stamp tool I see I can actually vary the offset now if the offset is 0 0.05 meters and if I click on the second the surface I can see the offset is 0 0.05 meters from a vertical length from this edge I can restrict this to this or I can actually move it forward as as you are like so let's move further to the next tool that is the drape tool what drape tool does is it recreates the edges that are already made or created on the other surface now if I just select these edges like this and click on drape tool and then on the second surface now I see these edges are recreated on this surface that is actually elevated down to it. And if I go to this group, I can actually select this face that is recreated on it and I can delete this. Now in this scene I have this surface made of different triangles or polygonal edges. Now if I click on add detail to it basically add details to different uh, of, I can say triangles I can click on this triangle and it makes these three other different edges and I can vary its length from here now if I click on any other edge I can actually alter the height on the depth like this I can create as many as I want what flip edge tool from the sandbox toolbar does is it flips the edge out of a polygonal surface now in this surface if I click on any edge that is shown blue like this it is flipped right here I can click again to have it back I can do that to any of the edges that are shown blue like this and there's a flip that way and click again.